Good evening, the news for this uh, Friday 1st of May. Today, as I've just said, is uh, the 1st of May and it's International Workers' Day. The parish priests of Ansoyal, where most of the celebrations for Workers' Day take place, have sent uh, good wishes to all workers, both Father Roger de Comarmont of the Roman Catholic Church uh, Parish of uh, St. Joseph and the Anglican pastor Christine Benoit have called on workers to continue praying during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Secretary General for the Federation of Workers Association, Antoine Robinson, has meanwhile called on workers to consider their employment precious at this moment in time. He said there is a high probability that many workers will lose their jobs during uh, this uh, time of economic difficulty. He added that negotiations continue between the government, employers and workers' representatives to reach on solutions which will be agreeable to all parties. Businesses will not be business as usual and we workers we should be reflecting seriously on decisions that we should be taking for us to in regards to our employment. And I would urge businesses not to take this opportunity to, to violate the rights of the workers. We have to be compassionate and we have to be realistic. We don't have to be biased to think only about ourselves, about our own business, and let go the workers. The workers have been working for the company for a long time and they have contributed a lot. So now it's time for them to relook and get something out. We should be in this together and hopefully we will go through this COVID recovery as quickly as possible to resume with come back so that our economy will kickstart again and we will improve on our livelihood. The whole of Mahi experienced uh, heavy rains uh, this morning and in some places up to three this afternoon. This uh, caused uh, some places to be flooded. The districts of uh, Pointe-la-Rue and Ansoupin were the most uh, affected, especially as they are prone uh, to flooding. The Pointe-la-Rue road in the vicinity of the airport, UCPS and the school was covered with water the most flooded part was in uh, the vicinity of the airport in UCPS where traffic was blocked due to uh, an accident where a car had fallen in a drain which was covered uh, with water. According to the meteorological office, there was a tropical depression in the vicinity of Mahi, which created a mass of clouds. The office recorded 120 millimeters of rain at its uh, airport station, an unusual phenomenon for this time of the year. The boss of Air Seychelles says the airline could survive in business until September if it can continue to keep costs low. Remco Althuis said the government's pledge to cover staff wages and renegotiated lease deals on aircraft have eased pressure. The airline is planning to offer repatriation flights to stranded foreigners and resume domestic flights. Tough times for Air Seychelles, but its small size could be its salvation. Last month it filled less than 400 passenger seats compared to the usual 40,000. But renegotiated deals with aircraft lessors and government help with staff wages mean its survival is assured for the time being. It's difficult to say how long exactly, but uh, because, because the deferral that we have on leases is not forever. <laughs> Twice daily domestic return trips between Mahe and Pralam will resume on Monday and the airline plans to offer repatriation flights subject to demand. Every middle passenger seat will be left empty to maintain social distancing. We could collect a number of people, uh, fly to a hub like Dubai where we already go for, uh, for cargo flight and drop those people off there. All depending on the local situation uh, because uh, for instance in Dubai right now um, transit traffic is still not allowed. So far, Mr. Altis says it only needed to refund 850 air tickets, but forward booking was well down on normal levels. For the, for the, for the, the, the near future, cancellations are uh, more than, than bookings, but from October and beyond, we see positive numbers. But uh, in all honesty, uh, not yet at the speed that we've seen before. 
While other larger airlines slash thousands of jobs, the Air Seychelles boss is pinning his hopes that the allure of holidays in paradise will help it bounce back fast when COVID recedes. Air Seychelles says it's transported 75 tonnes of cargo since the COVID crisis led to the suspension of passenger travel. There have been 14 flights so far based on demand using its new fuel-efficient Airbus A320neo airliners. Mr. Alpes said the flights were not always big money makers, but were mostly able to break even financially. All of those, on average, uh, all of those flights, uh, the, the revenue generated paid for the flight. If it's very bulky stuff, like lettuce <laughs> or eggs, uh, it's difficult to make that work, and sometimes we've had to leave cargo behind, courier cargo, because it just didn't fit anymore. And in those cases, of course, uh, the, 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 the revenue was, was barely break-even. The Nurses Association of Seychelles will be organizing a retreat for its members later this month to share their experiences during the COVID-19 crisis and to better equip nurses to deal with future pandemics. The president of the association, Rosie Bistoke, was speaking after receiving a donation of 60,000 rupees contributed by members of the LDS party in the National Assembly from the leader of the opposition in the National Assembly, Wevel Ramkalawan. All the members contributed 10% of their salary, which will be deducted for three months. The other future recipient will be the Red Cross Society of Seychelles. The retreat will be a, a moment for the nurses to meet and debrief on the COVID-19 situation, whether those who are working in essential services or those working into the um, COVID-19 response. They will debate, they will uh, sort of uh, Ex bring out everything that they thought it was something that could have uh, they could have done better, and uh, for those that we feel that they have done right, then we, we move our ahead with it. But for those that we feel that they will feel that they could have done better, we can bring them as recommendations, so that um, if ever we have the second wave of COVID-19, then we could have a better response in in terms of nursing care and services. Nurses, of course, are. On the front line, they are the ones who have received patients with COVID-19. They are the ones taking care of, uh, of patients. And of course, even in the quarantine, they are present. And uh, as you are probably aware, there are so many nurses who have, uh, who have also had to undergo a 14-day period in quarantine simply because they've been exposed. So nurses are, in fact, at the at the forefront uh, and uh, and uh, we are thankful for the good work that they've uh, that they've done and uh, and uh, the the check is just a small gesture to show our appreciation for what uh, they do for us not only during covid-19 but uh, all the time and with this uh, we come to the end of this news summary thank you for watching